Nancy Havens Hasty. She's president and founder of Havens Advisors. So, I mean, Nancy, maybe it's just a news cycle, but it certainly seems like this is a full court press to get deals done as soon as possible. Why now? Well, stock market has fallen, so the values are very reasonable right now. In addition, after two years of cost-cutting measures by most major corporations, there are hordes of cash on corporate balance sheets. And there's not much to do with that cash with short-term rates as low as they are right now. It actually impedes earnings to have your cash just sitting there. Mm -hmm. So the combination of reasonable stock price values combined with cash hoards is making for a wonderful merger environment. Well, yesterday the market seemed to view the interest in acquisitions as perhaps a positive sign that a company was looking at another one and saying, you're worth more than what the market is pricing you at right now. And yet there still seems to be some real inhibition to uh, you know, market sentiments. So what is it that they're seeing that Traders seem not to be. Well, I think you can expand specific product areas that you've been looking at for a long time at reasonable rates right now. And that's why targets are attractive. We are seeing more hostile deals, and that's because the targets aren't so happy mm -hmm. with their values and would rather get higher values. But even at higher values, there's still reasonable multiples compared with anything in, you know, from 2008 and before. Right. Well, some look at, uh, you know, Pondash, the CEO, said, our valuation, in my view, is higher than what BHP wants to award us. But some look and BHP's offer being cash as a sign that maybe BHP isn't happy with their own stock price. Perhaps it itself they view as being too low. Are we going to see more cash deals? Oh, absolutely. I mean, BHP's multiple is reasonably low. I think it trades just over four times EBITDA and they're paying something like 13 times potash. Potash is EBITDA. Mm -hmm. So you would not use, it would not be accretive to use your stock price that way right now. So we're going to see many more cash deals, especially since interest rates are so low. That is also spurring cash deals. So does that, is a logical extension of that to say that those possible acquirers who would have to throw their stock in to get a deal done because they don't have enough cash, does that put them out of the range? Because I know like the idea, the name of Vale has been thrown out as a potential uh, competitive bidder for Potash. Well, I, I, that is absolutely true. Vale is sort of the only other major company that is expected to possibly enter the fray. But they could also... Um, go after Mosaic or one of the other fertilizer companies. But at any rate, um, I think you will see le fewer stock deals in the current market environment, mm -hmm. just because it doesn't make sense to issue stock at these levels. Now, as we were reporting, you know, few bids that go hostile actually end up being successful, or at least they haven't in the recent past. Mm -hmm. Is that going to change? Well. I would say that's not 100% accurate. Um, a, a lot of the, we, we had a craft deal, craft Cadbury that was hostile. It took us, what, five months or more to It may to take a time. very long time, but we've had several hostile deals that have very, very large deals. Well, according to Bloomberg data, only one in three hostile deals since 2000 has been successful. But they may not be counting success as being purchased by another acquirer. As far as yeah. we're concerned, whether, when a deal gets done, whether it's done by the original acquirer or by somebody else, we're just as happy. Okay. All right. We'll see what happens. Nancy, I know your phone is going to be ringing a lot these days. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate you making the time to come in.